nine, nine damage to him. And he's like, why you have your sword out? <laughs> and <laughs> he dies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's nobody in that room right now. I cast Pass Without a Trace. And everybody within 30 feet of me gets plus 10 stealth uh, check bonus. He's the least. All right, uh, lead the way. You open this door? Yep. Got a, let's do it. The first thing you notice when you walk inside is it smells like shit. Literally, mm. it smells like fecal matter and blood and rot. And around you, you see tables with ropes and chains. There's a few knives. There's a, a, a cupboard here, or like a small like cabinet that has a couple like vials of like chemicals and stuff inside of it. Mm. I'd like to do a knowledge of, I guess, nature. No, knowledge of medicine, actually, to see if I can identify any of the chemicals. Uh, 20. Uh, you don't know the names of it, but uh, they are certainly ways, they're, they're chemicals that help preserve corpses. We're in the lion's den uh, right now. Yeah, I, I look over and go, we're in the right place. I fear for your wife, you don't we'll find her. You don't say it smells like your wife may be near. <laughs> you don't say that, right? No, no, I don't say okay, that. Good. Oh, you but... find a bucket of hooves from like a dozen different types of animals. I look over at you and go, oh, don't turn into a deer here. <laughs> it won't save you. Whatever you do, don't become a deer. I'm gonna scoot my little boot. I mean, my big muscular manly boot. Right up around here and just kind of take a peek around here, see what we perceive in the rest of the halls generally or what's going on. You perceive a door to your right and a door to your left and a small winding passageway forwards. I'm gonna go up. I mean, I got some keys, D. You got some keys, right? Yeah. They look a little different. I'm, I mean, I guess you just want to. Uh, Put my hand on that knob and see if it's locked. Actually, you guys might want to check the other door and see if it's locked as well, just because we should know if it's a locked door or not, right? All right, I'm gonna go check this door as you do that. Yeah. Um, do I need to roll anything to check? Every it's door here? is locked. Every door right. is locked. I take out the I take out the one. little keys that I got. I try both of them in the keyhole. Oh, that's funny. None of your keys work, D. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. I look over. Go. <laughs> these keys don't work. I say, Hey, D, try these ones. Let's switch I toss, keys. I toss you the keys. Here, can I have your keys though. You guys managed to make no noise to it. Uh, which key are you going to try? Uh, both keys. Oh, there's a skull, and I'm going to use the one with the little mushroom on it. Which one can I see? What it's <laughs> it's like. the one on the left. <laughs> oh, the one on the left. That one. Oh, uh, and you're at this door, correct? Right? Uh, I'm at this door, yeah. No, that's the that, that mushroom key doesn't work on that door. All right, I tried the skull key. It works. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> I go, I go work. Okay, oh, I go, I go work. Okay, and my door is locked as well, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. You you you're trying these keys or your yeah, keys? putting them in the lock and just kind of feeling like these keys me? aren't working at all. Okay, Dude, toss me them keys, man, bro. I leave the door unlocked. I toss the keys and I grab <laughs> the keys again. All right, try I'm the just, mushroom. I'll try the mushroom one, D. Even though I think the skull one's gonna work. The mushroom key doesn't work on that door. All right, D. Try, try the skull key. Try the skull keys. I'm gonna try the skull key. Okay, <laughs> you you just leave me this time, D. All right, skull key. It works. works. Oh, it worked. I knew it. Maybe the skull keys, a skeleton key, to work for everything. A master key, D. It seems to be a master key. Skeleton key. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave the door. I'm gonna slowly, you know, click, it's unlocked. Cool. So we could enter it if we wanted to. Great. I'm gonna open that door, I'm gonna peek my little eyeballs in there. Before, right before he opens the door, I'm gonna draw my bow and ready it. Nice. Open it. All right, you pop it oh, open. Yeah, we, you know, we peek in there. Are you ready for this? Yep. Oh gosh. <sighs> There's all types of people inside. What you see inside that room it was, there's a, a big burly man in leather and in the room there are four cages, multiple people inside each one. No. The keen eye would very quickly find that Bran's wife is right here. <gasps> Not alone? But she's she, in a cage. She is with, a, with another, there's another person in that cage. I'm gonna use my perception check just to see what the guy's armed with, what he's, you know, the leather, I mean, he's just like, Probably this big, huge, fat guy wearing wearing leather, doing this with his book. And probably it's, it's slavery. It's totally silent. It's totally. It's you. You're so stealthy. You just open the door and you didn't know it's just reading his book like this. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stealth up and slice of that throat. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that Do great it. sword and I'm just gonna right there. He's just, he's done. Attack this. him! Advantage! Go for it. Form of it. Okay. No worries. I got a fifteen. Hit him. Hit him. Cool. He's getting his he's getting neck sliced to the jugular with a hit. 
for a depth of wound is ten. the depth of ten. He shrieks, <laughs> slices across him, and everyone rolls initiative. Sixteen. Ten. Eight. Uh, he rolled a natty 20. He turns around and looks at you. He freaks out. What he does, he flips to a very specific page in his book and starts casting a spell at you. Up here. 9, 10, 17. Alright, the spell doesn't affect you. Nothing happens. Weird. It's the spell sleep. It affects depending on how many hit points you have. Uh, I think it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna step up into the room right here, and I'm gonna shoot an arrow right into the guy. <laughs> Just walk through the door, I was like, poof. All right, go for it. Uh, 19. It's with the bow. It's already hurt. Uh, 11 points of damage. Bro. Oh, snap. <laughs> totally hit him. Uh, Nico's your turn. Cool. I, too, am going to move to a point where I can see him. Take my wooden club again and cast Shalala on it. Did you already do that? Yeah, it only lasts for a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> you did it. Nice. All right, and it's your right, turn. So I'm going to actually move up to striking range. <laughs> I'm going to give him another big heave ho with my old sword. All right, 16, 23. Yes. And three, eight damage. A damage to Mega Slice. Nice. He is pretty jacked up. And so in response, what he does, he takes a five foot step like this, aiming at you and you and you and you, specifically you two, and takes a look at his cool big book, just like this, and he's like this. Starts casting a spell at you guys, and you guys need to make a uh, DC 14 strength checks, both of you guys. 16. Seven, yeah, so 14. 16, all right. Basically, a giant gust of wind uh, blows through you. Nothing happens. I know that spell. Oh, I don't even need knowledge or comment for that one, because I already moved my hair. Does my hair look nicer <laughs> afterwards? <laughs> yeah, how's the hair look? Oh, uh, great. And he's just like, oh shit. He looks at his book, he's just like, this <laughs> slams, <laughs> slams he, his he'll, book he'll, to the ground. He'll just have his hands up like this and drops the book on the ground. Oh, interesting. <laughs> he's just like. <laughs> I slowly close Wait, the okay. door behind us. Yeah, whose turn is it up next? Is it next? Well, I have, I'd like to strike, or like, you can like you to, can exit initiative okay. here. He's like, <laughs> I, I look at you guys and go question him. All right, I'm gonna I walk can. up. I still have my club like ready to go. He's, he's, like, he's all he's, he's pretty bloody. He's like got blood all. Over I'm, gonna, okay. I'm gonna quickly pull that. We should pull that book away from him. Yeah. Matilda, you all right? Her eyes open. She's like shivering, crying. Uh oh. I'm I have saying, a bow drawn to him. He's not gonna do shit. So go. Alright, I'm gonna, gonna go check. Okay. Nah, I'm not got my club spell. Who cares? That's who fine. cares? Just go <laughs> do something. I got my clubs. club spell. <laughs> your club spell. Nico, who no one gives a fuck about your club your spell. Club I don't spell. Know, why, his his like, wife is there dying on the floor. The whole purpose of us being here. All right, fine. I'm gonna go check we on should, Brandon. We close his wife. Jeez. I'm gonna tell him lay on the ground face down while I aim my bow at his face. Good call. Does that. Knowledge of medicine, Bran's wife, right. Matilda. Uh, that is a 25. Uh, she's jacked up, she's paralyzed with fear. <laughs> she's jacked up, first of all. Like, like jacked up hurt? as in like whipped, jacked up as in starved? Uh, both. Both whipped and starved? Oh, whipped. what a mighty starved. combo. I'm glad I didn't list, list more symptoms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's been uh, brutalized. What does she need to be feel better? What um, you need to be feel better. Nothing's gonna make her feel better. Matilda, do you, did this man hurt you, this wizard? And she's like this. It was the Wait, mayor. Do a perception it's the check, mayor. is she lying? Matilda, would, would you lie to me in this situation? I crit fail. <laughs> you didn't get, that's a oh, seven. No, that's a seven, Never mind. I don't crit fail, I get a, I don't know. Maybe she has Stockholm nine. syndrome. Of course she's not gonna lie to me. Okay. I walk up and I put my foot on the guy who's laying on the ground, his head, and I put my bow and arrow, and it points straight down the top of Santa. I go, where is the mayor? Arrow. Okay. He's in the front. The the dinner. Describe him. Describe now. what he looks like to me, right now. He's got long white hair and a long, long brown jacket. White hair and a long brown 14. jacket. Okay. Matilda, who hurts you? No one. None of the men, none of the men hurt me, but the, the animals next door did. 
So he can't cast any more spells? I'm going to loose the arrow can... into the top of his head. Mm. From, he's been right kind of helpful, him. actually. Okay. 18. Yeah, that's a hit. Yeah, advantage roll, virus saw one. Whoops. Whoopsies. Six damage to his head. Executed. He just executes the guy point like. And then I put, with my foot still on his head, Jenga. rip the arrow out. <laughs> Suddenly, they all take a breath. You notice that when he died, they all like start like acting a little less weird and they all start like snapping out of it a little bit. The wife no, is kinda... like, I lied. I lied. Called it. You, you got the spell. It's, it's, it's called Charm. <laughs> They're all under a Charm spell by him. Oh. And they were like, oh, it was him. He was doing it all the whole time. Ah. Told it. <laughs> <laughs> told I, it. All right. I look a little sheepish because I was totally fooled and didn't expect that the whole time. I didn't told it at all. <laughs> I didn't told that. I didn't told that. Calm, calm down. Everything's fine now, slaves. The lizard folk on one end are like... I go, especially you lizard folk, calm down. And this old lady wakes up. She's like... I'm gonna, I'm gonna use. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she passes away from like excitement, so happy she <laughs> she imagines her freedom and dies. This guy in the corner is straight dead. I thought it was just and this guy's like, you gotta let me out! You gotta let me out! Do, 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 shut, do, do. shut up! Shut up! Unless you guys can be quiet for what, thirty <laughs> seconds. Shut your mouth! <gasps> Two. If we don't have time or anywhere to put them, so you wait here. And the thirty seconds is up. Ah! <laughs> Ah, you gotta let me out. I'm please. gonna reach in and slap him. Please, I'll do anything. I'm I'll do anything. Him. I'm I'm do slap anything. Him. Give me a sword. I'm a fighter. I'll fight by his side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me perception to see, to size him up as a, as a warrior. I'll fight by your side. Perception? A one. I'll this perceive. Guy, this, honestly, this guy looks like he would kick some serious ass. Yeah? <laughs> like, actually, 15, in all seriousness, you guys. 15 perception. He is 100% an ass kicker. 15 perception. Uh, Nico is a little more doubtful than that, but you are, <laughs> you are you literally like. We gotta bring him along, guys. You <laughs> see those arms? This guy, this guy is like. <laughs> you, you imagine it like this. You send him in the room. He goes nuts. He screams. Straight he battle, freak out. Like rampage. Like, it, like he weirds man. people out. He takes his pants off, and everyone like uh. he gets naked, and like everyone gets <laughs> paralyzed with fear. He's that kind of fighter. Yeah, that. is like. Don't leave me in here, please. Don't leave me in here. Hey Sam, I'm gonna just do a search of that wizard's body. Great. You find a key that opens the cell to allow Matilda out. Nailed it. Nailed Give it. her the bastard sword, so she's actually holding it like in the real manager. <laughs> okay, she can have my bastard sword. Hold on, I'm giving Matilda yeah. the key. She gave it to me. I'm not Give me. Right. No, I'm. I'm Matilda. <laughs> thank you, D. Thank you, brave Darian. Darian walks and snatches out of my hand. Thank you, Darian. Oh, Darian. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Darian. Uh. <laughs> Darian. You guys get to kill everybody, all right? My druid guy's not too strong. So hey, I gotta at least build a hand can, key. You can, you can, you can oh, swing yeah. that club dude, instead dude. of enchanting it once in a while. I, here, here. Swing that Next room, I promise I'll let you swing your club at some yeah, point. Yeah, and Matilda you says... <laughs> <laughs> you give me the first one in if you want. Matilda says, you have to kill them all. Noki, you really have to use your club spell. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone has ever deserved that club spell, it's <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've never used it before, but just wait. You know you don't know what you're capable of, but you use the clubs. <laughs> just spell. you guys wait and see. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I'm gonna walk to that door and open just it. Just so you know. Okay, door opens. I don't need to know nothing. All right. I'm pretty good at killing things. And then they clo we close the door behind mm -hmm. us. Cool. cool. Peek, peek around the peek corner. Around corner. Do we see yeah. anything? Perception check. Yeah. Which corner are we talking about? corner here. To my left. You got resistance. For one minute, if you're at a saving uh, roll of your choice, you can throw it on D4. Brandon, you get the same thing. You'll be able to throw it on D4 and add that to your saving throw. You can do it after you roll your D20. Okay. Okay. Sweet. For, for your... Traps, poisons. So, Noki put his hands on us while you're away. Yeah, I, 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 I was touching you guys. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> he touched us up good. It was totally non-romantic. He was like this. Sure, it's completely professional. <laughs> completely professional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to politely and nicely say, hey, Noki, if this shit gets rough in here, I want to see at least one point of damage dealt to something. Yes, yes With sir. With this club. Yes, sir. All right. With, With that, that stick. I, I want to see you swing that baby for the fences. 
Okay, I whip out my club and I cast Shulele on it. <laughs> Hell yeah, alright, yeah. You just cast it again. Buff. It's ready to go. Just buff that up and we go, woo woo! Just so. peek in that door. Is it, first off, is it locked? Perception. Uh, I got a, I got Oh it yeah, it's locked. Skeleton oh, key unlocks it. Skeleton key, all right, click, click. Do it. Door is unlocked. Yeah. Are we open the, the door? door? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, creak it open. Uh, who's opening it? I am. Are you still under that stealth spell? Uh, no, I stopped concentrating on that a while ago. So I suppose you want another stealth roll, huh? Not too bad, 17. Oh, shit. What are those things? The door opens, and it's, it's silent. You hear this. You see this large, six-legged, fly-like beast, like, circling. It just, like, can't stop moving. It's just, like, constantly spinning in circles. It's humongous, by the way, but it's encaged, it's trapped in, it's a beast. And the other side here, you just see this thing just breathing. It's just a beast. It's clearly, it's, it's white. It's like almost like a troll. It's some sort of beast. Something captured from the depths of the wilderness and brought back here. A monster. Also known as monster to those who don't know exactly what it is. Uh, I'll roll to find out what it is. 14, 14 to identify these animals. Yeah. All right, 14. Da -da -da -da. You have no idea what that is. <laughs> I'm gonna move right into here, and I'm just just not because this door open to the left, so I'm just gonna slowly, just like steadily, just peek around this corner and see if this. Make sure we check, you know, check right, and then I'm gonna look around this door to check left here. Ah, I'm stuck. My body, my feet are really wide. Oh, what do you know? You peek around that corner, and you see another guy like this with the book who sees you and he goes, like, <laughs> and he casts a spell at you. Everyone rolls initiative. He heard you guys come in. Eight. Or no. 21. 11. Uh, he had a ready to action. He heard you guys coming. Um, so he cast this cool spell called Gust of Wind. He is, looks very similar to the other guy. They're both guards, clearly, trying to keep things in and out and controlling things. This guy is clearly more um, animal oriented. Anyways, uh, DC 14, strength check, or else you get knocked back. DC 14, strength check? Yeah. Four. So you got three. 10. 10? He casts a spell, and it knocks you back into the wall here, all the way back here. And okay. with his other hand, he closes the door shut, and it uh, locks. Who has the keys for this room? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought that was oh, true, man. but I, I wasn't sure. So, can you let me do like a deck save or something so that as it's closing, I can like kick it out, kick my foot out, and like stop the door from locking? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. Deck uh, save that you shit, have to man. DC, uh, basically, this is a 15. Okay. Oop. Not a good one. Dang. It's okay, it happens. You know Failed. the feeling, you see a door goes, closing, you run up to try and catch it, and it just locks right before you touch it. All right, your turn. Looks like it's mano y mano here for old Brandon. <laughs> oh, right. you see dead bodies and stuff. It's body parts that they've been feeding to these animals. Obviously slaves. I'm raging out, I'm charging, attacking, I'm raging. Nice. Boom. Um, and I'm going to attack him. Does a 17 hit. Yep. And I do 19 damage. Okay. 19 damage, holy shit. Man, he's bloodied already. You just completely decimated him. Jesus Christ. Um, and uh, it is... Your turn. Because well, <laughs> I don't give you that freaking club spell again. <laughs> just, just pass your turn. Uh, Pick a lock. It's okay. Brian's gonna take care of him. Reopen the door. Just pass her. We hear, we hear like. I'm gonna, hit the, I'm gonna hit the door with my club as hard as I can. <laughs> okay, I back away and let him do it. All right. I just think it's funny. <laughs> Nogi's pretty pissed right now. <laughs> we just had a pep talk about the club and using it, and look how this is gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hit the door with my club. This is a 23 hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, obviously door. a 23 hits this non-moving <laughs> piece of wood. <laughs> Does the 23 right. hit the door? I do 11 points of damage. Nice. Bam, you knock a big chunk of wood out of that door. <laughs> <laughs> but your club, Christine, this, this little guy's turn. Mm -hmm. and what happens is you see, he pulls out his own pair of keys. It looks like this. And he holds it up, and he backs away and turns towards this monster here. And he goes up to the door for the monster and gets an opportunity attack from you. You can attack him. 
He's attack taking him. his key and he's gonna put it in the keyhole. All right, I'm going to attack him. Does a 20 uh, yes. something hit? Yeah, of course. <laughs> and then I'm going to hit him for seven plus five, 12 damage. 12 oh, damage. Oh no, 14 damage. <laughs> he drops the key. That's he's, my on turn the, again. he's on the ground with no, wep with no weapon or anything. All right, I'm going to grab the book and pull it away from him. You can grab him. That's like All right, strength. I'm grabbing him with a uh, 19. And yeah, you got him. Okay, I got he him. He can't move. He's like, Ugh, he can't move. Got him. He can't move at all. Okay, uh, can I pull him back to this door and unlock it for my friends? Uh, yeah, you can. You can move him. Okay. And I'm gonna say, guys, like, hey, Brand, get Yo, out. Hey, hey. <laughs> he's like, hey, he's got this guy's headlock as he opens the door. I'm gonna say, all right, I'm gonna say, remember that club, Noki? Uh huh. When I heard you knocking on the door, it inspired me, and I and I did some heroic shit in here that I don't have time to explain right now. Well, that, that's but good. But don't use that club again right now because I think this guy, just like our, our slave friends back there, might be necessary. Like, why else would they leave a guy here with these monsters? We want these monsters compensated right now. So mm -hmm. that's why I haven't killed this guy yet. Okay. Hey, I'm going to try something. I'm going to cool. try to speak to these monsters. Let's just speak to those monsters, yeah. I'm going to step into the room and I'm going to cast Speak with Animals. You're casting Speak with Animals. Mm -hmm. All right. So what I want you to do is say what you're going to say to them in the voice of an animal, okay? You're casting speak with animals, so say it in the voice of an animal to them. All right. I don't need to know exactly what you're saying, but I want to hear what it sounds like. All right, I'm going to turn the one on the, on the, one on the left back. <laughs> <laughs> and it, what happens is it listens to you and it goes like, and it's not speaking bug, it's speaking some other, it's speaking a language to you, and it is confused as hell why you're making weird bug noises at it. So it's not an animal. <laughs> it is not an animal. I say, Nico, hey. the, the one on the right looks like it speaks the Queen's English. <laughs> so I turn around the one on the right, and I go, uh... <laughs> this one's eyes, this one's eyes, this one's eyes are like rapidly darting, darting between you, everyone. It's like, just like, so quickly, like just analyzing and looking at everything as fast as it can. The sounds you made are effectively what everything, everyone in the room heard, because they're not animals. And I go, Noki, what did they say? Uh, <laughs> it is. Because for all we know, we don't know the difference. You know, he always sounds like this. Here, I'm gonna turn back around and be like, do any of you speak common? And the, uh, this, this Quagoth kind of looks at you and kind of like like half understands what you're saying. It gets like bits and pieces of those words. And then the other one, this other bug thing, looks at you too and is waiting. I, I look over at the guy who's in a stranglehold by a brand and I go, what the hell is that thing? And I point at the fence with the big bug thing inside of it. I slap him real quick with the back of my hand. I go, what is that thing? <laughs> I loosen up my biceps which are not even fatigued at all right now. <laughs> Just a little bit, so he clearly could, you know, he could, he could answer oh, okay, yeah. at this point. I bulged from a 32 inch bicep down to 28. 32 <laughs> inch bicep? Jesus. Jesus. Did, have you seen the damage, the damage I've been drawing, put out there? That's, That's the like, size pants I wear. <laughs> oh, That's 32 might be a little big. It's literally right. the <laughs> size pants I wear. It's like a log. <laughs> 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 so I'm like, my arms Actually, look, my sometimes arms, wear 31s. My arms look like a kind of a really skinny, slender man right yeah. now compared to what they normally you look like. You have two Asian dudes man. on either side of your, <laughs> of your body. Dude, no wonder you're dealing that much damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, he goes to one and he like, goes to this one. He's like, this one is a Quagoth. And this one is, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, it's like, it's, it's a, a Kazmi. It's a Kazni. There are these underground bug things that we we found one in a mine and we're able to capture it, so we brought it back here. Are you circumcised? No. Well, you're about to be. What? I I walk him up. <laughs> I walk him up. I walk him up to here and stick his little dingaling right through the cage. <laughs> you, so you whip his pants down and push his body against the cage. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Wait. Wait. He is going to attempt to break three. Roll me in one more strength check as you're, you're pushing him up. All right. 
Natty 20. Natty 20. Oh, you push him right in there. He's like, ah! his dick pops straight ah! out like into the game. <laughs> and basically what happens, it's sticking between the bars and this, the Quagot just goes at it and takes his claws and goes <laughs> and just like gores him. He's like, <laughs> boosh. Uh, he starts bleeding out. Like, ah! And wait, hold on, how many points of damage did it deal him? He dies. <laughs> <laughs> he dies, he like, just like bleeds out and he's just like limp there. I'm astounded dead. by what just happened. I look back to Dianoki like, and I say, scrotumptious. <laughs> <laughs> what? The, the chasm, is, it's going It wants a piece? It's like clicking and it's like, like I, it's almost I like, apologize. it's like, it's just like insect laughter. It's, it's, it's super loud. Wait, wait. What is the Quaybot doing right now? How does he feel about what just happened? It's just like looming. It's like waiting for something else to come He's through. He's waiting for another pair of generals. I may, have, I may have screwed up my whole like calming thing that <laughs> I was trying to do here, guys. It's okay. They're in, they're in cages. They're in cages. So they're in cages. I was gonna suggest that we like try to make this deal with him, but I think these things are way too dangerous, and I think they could take any one of us. It doesn't seem like we should mess with these things. Maybe Let's we should. Leave. Maybe you hear a voice in your mind. Six. And you hear, "Let me go." In my mind, let me go. The Casmi is looking straight at you. Oh. I, I walk I walk slowly up to it. <laughs> we open both cages simultaneously and we're out of the room. I mean, if we have any like <laughs> string or anything, we could just like, I don't we know. Could, like we could rig something up and we could like we could <laughs> all really hang out there by the <laughs> and just boogie over here and hide in this room <laughs> until shit finishes going down, you know? I walk up to this cage. D, stop. What and I doing? no no, I just are look you, at him. Are you like the rest? Are you like the rest of them? No, I'm bar more barbarians like What that. do you mean by that? The rest of the humans. You look like one. How about you let me out? I look over at you both and I'm very unsettled. Right. Is there anything going is there anything going on right now we should know about? D, write a response on here. Yeah. There's, a, there's two options. One option, we go through the rest of this house and kill every other person by hand. <laughs> other option, we let the beasts out and rampage through the house. But then there's no telling whether or not the mayor will get away. I'd rather do it ourselves. You hear, you hear this voice in your mind. Oh. I look at the bug as he says this to me, and I go, your tricks won't work on me. Ryan, do you have one? I don't have one yet. I think I'm getting one right now. And you hear that voice in your mind. I'm very confused by what this creature is. Cautiously look at it. And then I turn around and I walk away. It explodes in anger as you start turning around and starts like shaking the bars as hard as it can. It's just like making the loudest racket and the metal's rattling and it's just like sitting there. And it's telling you the same, it's repeating that message. Like, is the cage holding? Yes, it, it is. Okay, let's go. Let's go out, let's go out, let's go out, let's go out. I'm gonna come through this door. This door. Lock that sucker. Lock that sucker. And I'm back here and I'm gonna say, so guys, was that was that bug whispering in your mind as well? Yeah, that bug was definitely whispering. He was whispering in my mind. mind. He seemed like pure evil. I need to get out of that business. He was really creeping me out. Wait, what, what, did that, what did that bug tell you? He told me that Darian was going to try to kill me. He told me also the bug was going to try to, and I, Darian, I, I, I forgive to say it, I, but I, I believe in the moment there, I believed him 100. percent That, that I was going to try you? to kill you. It's what he told me. The bug was lying to us. He was trying to deceive us. I don't know why. He told me that he would show me where the treasure lies. That's, he asked if I was like other men, other humans yeah. that cared about treasure and gold. I mean, we do. I don't. We got the biggest treasure, which is the friendship. Friendship. You don't. You just got an inspiration point. Yeah. For not caring about the treasure. <laughs> I cared about the treasure a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> Hooray! I mean, inspiration points. My first inspiration point. I mean, point. you can get your wife back and get epic loot for damages. Let's continue. That's like the most American thing in the world. You know? <laughs> Thirteen oh. points of damage. Ouch! I <laughs> ball, ball, ball. He hits you as hard as he can. I'm just not gonna completely ignore this guy. Hop over the wall. Step here. <laughs> Knock out binoculars. Hi hey guys. <laughs> How long since it's smelling? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Hey, uh, are you guys going hunting? I want to see if we can come along on this hunting trip. <laughs>